ABC7's Linda Carson has some great information tonight about how boat owners are prepping for Irma. Many of Marina Jack's 316 slips are empty. Owners who can are moving their boats out of the water and storing them on land or in warehouses. And whenever possible, the boats left behind are being moved to the leeward side of the marina. Over there, you're back, back behind the park, so actually the, the, the wave action should be minimal over there as compared to over here. Um, we'll still have a surge, but, you know, Everything will be tied down to the docks over there and tied to each other as well. Jeff Hazelton is moving his catamaran from a fixed dock to the mooring field at Marina Jack. It will have the ability to swing around um, and, you know, with the wind. And uh, hopefully that's a better situation than what we have over here, which if any of these boats break free or docks or flying debris start to happen, I'm going to get crushed in the, you know, right behind all of that. Don't jump in. There you go. Boat owner right. Richard Deere, also a 500 ton U.S. Coast Guard licensed master, is taking special precautions for this hurricane. I'm putting two ropes on every cleat so it'll hold the boat away from the dock because boats sink when they smash into the dock during the, during the storm. The wave action keeps slamming them into the sides and eventually it usually it'll poke a hole in the side of the boat and then the boat sinks. He also turned his boat into the waves. I put the, the, the bow to the waves because the front of the boat is lighter so it's made to take the waves. Then also that way the salt water does not go up the exhaust and destroy the engines as well and possibly sink the boat too. From the Sarasota Bay to the Manatee River, we saw boaters making these final preparations to make sure their boats are going to ride out this storm. And here's one final reminder. Also, you want to take down your bimini tops, all the canvas on top of the boats and stuff. You want to pop those tops down, tie them up with a rope, or take them off completely because they're the first things to get destroyed in a storm. The Twin Dolphin Marina in Bradenton closed at noon today. Nobody's allowed on the docks except a few last minute boaters who are making some final preparations. They've even cut off the electricity and they say they won't open again until the storm is safely passed. Linda Carson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.